Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be trying a bit more of a natural look. I'm gonna attempt to do it no makeup makeup but I think we all know that that's not gonna happen because I'm not very good at that kind of thing so I think I'm just gonna go for like some pinks and like lighter colors like some pale pinks baby pinks just to kind of make it a bit less um, and then I'm definitely gonna do a thinner foundation today so jump straight in <laughs> and put my little piggy ears on I'm gonna use my um, EYN bright palette today my favorite <laughs> And I think I'm gonna try and stick to the top row, at particularly these two, and maybe using Sweet Escape, not Sweet Escape, no, Candy Floss. Um, just as like, you know, browns and pinks and beiges, just for a bit more of a natural look on the eye. So as ever to start with, I'm just gonna use my Pore Blur, Pore Blur, <laughs> more Cop Primer, just all over my face. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows with the very little that I have left. I really hope that my new one comes soon because <laughs> I'm running desperately low. Desperate times with those eyebrows. <laughs> they are not great. Oh well, that'll have to do. I'll fix them at the end if I can. <laughs> So then I'm gonna go with the um, Revolution Cut Crease Canvas just all over my eye there, just as the base um, for the eyeshadow look. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with Bare Necessity, this shade just here. Uh, it's like the one from the Kami palette, Dicted I think it is, like a caramel one, but this one's a lot lighter. So I'm just gonna take that over the crease as my transition color. I'm going to take Preppy Pecan, uh, just more in the corners of the eye. I don't think I'm going to bring it up the, to the crease, uh, just for some definition there before I do the lid colour. So I just um, put a little bit of the cut crease canvas on my lid there, just so that it's ready for the colour that I'm going to do. The colour I'm going to go for is Angel Cake. I don't know how light that's going to be, so I'm going to go for that one. Possibly blended with candy floss just there, but I'll see how it looks once it's on. So I did end up going with candy floss as well, just to add a little bit of more color because Angel Cake is very light. Now I'm just gonna go over each of the colors just to define them. And I'm also going to put white lies, which is literally just white at the top of the eye there, just underneath the eyebrow, just to blend in all of the colors together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on. So it'll be the Jouer Essential High Coverage one. I really wanna get a new one. I've seen a Charlotte Tilbury one, which is an airbrush. So it's a bit like an airbrush foundation it's called. So it's a bit less coverage, which I'd like to get just for looks like this when it's a bit more natural. But I'm gonna use this one and just do it a bit lighter than I normally do it. Sorry, my headband fell off and I didn't want to ruin the makeup by pulling it over my face to put it on. So here we are. So I'm now going to do some concealer. I'm not going to conceal my nose and underneath my eyes today. I'm just going to conceal the places that like I'm a bit spotty. Uh, just because I really do want it to be like a natural, more natural look. And I think if I put the a little bit of highlight straight onto the powder rather than onto concealer, I think it will look a lot more just like natural and light and highlighted. I know what I mean. <laughs> so now I'm going to do my um, powder. I'm actually going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder today. Now I'm just going to do my highlight and blush. Um, my blush I'm going to use just like this brown here, um, just on there. And then the highlight I'm going to do just under my eyes here, just on my cheeks and on my nose. do my lips now and then I'm going to go over the eyes and just kind of like make sure that I'm happy with everything before I do my foundation, uh, not my foundation, my mascara and my false lashes. I'm going to be using the PS Demi Matte um, in chocolate, the same one I used the other day. So I'm just going to pop that on my lips and I'm also going to blot that. Um, as I said in my video the other day, it is meant to be matte so it's better if it's blotted but also I want it to be uh, a bit more of a nude, so I'm going to um, block that one. 
I'm just gonna go over my eyes, just make sure that I'm happy with everything. I'm gonna take a little bit of highlight just on top of the eye, something which I normally do, and just in the corners here. Um, and then I'm gonna go over everything, just make sure that it's all nice and defined. And then I'm back um, to do my false lashes and my mascara. I'm just popping a little bit of mascara on my eyes. I'm not gonna do eyeliner today, just because I really do want it to be as natural as possible. Um, so I'll just pop a little bit of this on and then I'm going to use my natural lashes from the other day which are the Revolution Barely There uh, Natural Lashes number two, Barely There. And there we go, there's the finished look. Um, I just sprayed a little bit of the um, Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how it looks. Uh, I definitely struggled not to beth it up by doing way too much. I really wanted to put like Sweet Escape, which is more of a shimmery pink on the lid. But I think sometimes it's good for your skin, my skin, to use a little bit less. And for my self-esteem, because sometimes if you wear so much makeup, then when you don't wear any, you feel horrendous. I've got an email as well to say that my uh, new brow kit is on its way. So that's very exciting. So hopefully by Friday's video, I will have that and I can do a little review for you all. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a bit more of an easy look to do today, which was nice. And um, yeah, I'll see you on Friday. Bye.